discriminatory practices related to land tenure, credit access, equal pay and decision making often impede the active participation of women in sustaining land health. The United Nations notes that less than one in five landowners worldwide are women. In many countries, laws and practices block women and girls from owning land. But where they do, they restore and protect it, increasing productivity, building resilience to drought and investing in health, education and nutrition. Equal land rights both protect land and advance gender equality. That when women play a central role in the restoration of land and the mitigation and adaptation to climate change, it creates better outcomes all around. Particularly for women in developing countries. Women who own and control land are better able to provide for their families, secure their livelihoods, and invest in their communities, leading to improved health and education outcomes. In addition to New York, other events to mark Desertification and Drought Day, which officially falls every year on June 17, held in all parts of the world, including Nigeria, where the Federal Ministry of Environment organized roadshow to create public awareness on the role of women in combating desertification and drought and the need to uphold women's rights to land ownership. The United Nations has set, set aside this day to raise awareness on the challenges of desertification, land degradation and drought and to let people know that there are solutions to this challenge and we show the people, let the people know the different measures we can undertake to combat these challenges. The honorary citizens can plant trees in available spaces that are prone to desertification or even around their homes to combat the effect of climate change. On Nguye, Fine Face, NT News.